All right, <coughs> excuse me. Back again, we have cut that out and uh, no particular problems, except I'm sure if anyone already owns one of these, they'll know very well which side the uh, lid open uh, support prop <laughs> is fitted. And yes, it's fitted just behind there. And uh, yes, I forgot and <laughs> cut straight through it. So yeah, a little bit embarrassing. Uh, if you can fit the Calc King on the right hand side of the tank, uh, depending on your room layout, then I would thoroughly recommend fitting it on the right hand side. You've got a lot more space there and there's nothing much going on. Uh, so this one is gonna have to be glued together somehow, or I'll just have to make a new one up. It's not a major problem, but uh, a bit annoying, a bit stupid. Should have checked in there in the first place. Just going to see if I can do this one handed and we'll just bring up the Count King and yeah you can see it's had to be a little bit longer this end because that hole through the acrylic is for the bypass uh, pipe uh, that will just top up with uh, RODI and uh, the rest is all clear of course you've got the lid to go on here that overhangs slightly so uh, yeah we're gonna go and just clean off the cut bits of plastic from the lid I'll have a little think about what I'm gonna do as far as the <laughs> lid support prop goes and uh, get this back on the tank I've also thought about the double float valve that we've got at the moment for the top off system and this single magnetic one now I've just taken off the two suction uh, pad attached floats and they absolutely stink so I think we're going to ditch those in preference to the magnetic float switch I was never keen on the suction pad ones they have fallen off a number of uh, times I suspect there's absolutely no way this one can fall off although I would have preferred the actual float have been protected with the acrylic tube. Having said that, I think that's where the smell's coming from on the suction pad versions. There's a bit of algae growth inside and I just wonder if that holds a bit of stagnant water. Uh, but something for sure stinks on the two float valves we've just taken out. So I think we'll stick with, uh, with this one and uh, go from there. So anyway, that's the modifications done. Hopefully we'll just uh, offer all this back up, up onto the tank and hopefully it'll be fine and more videos later.